Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. What if you could make a deck that was fit to battle any other type at any time that you please? Well, that's what I'm gonna try going with for with this deck. It's a double air deck because I'm gonna be going for the weaknesses like crazy. So. <laughs> I got Grass Energy just for the possible Scyther Sword Stance, otherwise it'll be like a colorless energy for the most part. Water Energy for the Jinx, because I got this, yeah, it's, it's kind of to throw a little bit of Psychic in there without actually having Psychic Energy. Aha! See what I'm going for that? Here, yes, yes, and then for the fire, I got Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. Notice they all use colorless energy. Uh huh, and to make sure that I've got that sort of dealio, I've got Pokemon, you know, that I can make that sort of dealio, you know, whatever type I want. I've got Pokemon Trader, and uh, Mysterious Fossil here is going to go with the Aerodactyl, because it uses colorless energy. Now, i got to be careful in using this, because if Prehistoric Power is in play, I can't evolve anything. It also works for the opponent as well, so basically I don't want to play this. Unless my board is already established, or I want a fighting Pokémon in general. But Wing Attack is three colorless energy, that's why I'm playing that. I've got the double colorless and stuff like that. Kangaskhan for the draw power. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I also got Energy Search, I guess, for, <laughs> for, for said Scyther Grass, or just deck filtering and stuff. Still experimenting with the challenge, but... Oh yeah, and this version of Eevee, like before, so... Alright! So, let's go ahead and see if we can exploit those weaknesses. We got Robert with the Psychic, so we should probably plop out the Jinx, or Eevee, or Kangaskhan, because, you know, Psychic Resistance. That's what the whole idea is of having all the types in a single deck, if at all possible. <laughs> it, this, it's not very easy to make a deck like this, like, because it just isn't that many colorless attacks on elemental Pokémon, likely due to balance purposes, because of the, uh, the issue of if you could just splash any sort of colors in any sort of deck, it's it kind of, kind of defeat the purpose of the whole energy thing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's why it's kind of restrictive in that aspect, but I built this as a sort of trial dealio to see what I can get out of that, and, uh, one thing that I can't trade for is uh, Mysterious Fossil to get Aerodactyl, which is kind of a bummer. But in, in this sort of deck, it's okay, because, I mean, in, in this, in, I guess you could say against this sort of deck, it's okay, because I gotta get, I'm, because it's uh, versus Psychic Pokemon anyway, so, well, mostly Psychic, so. <laughs> anyway, I'll get all the misspeaking out of the video now, we're gonna go and hopefully wake up and start comet punching that Jigglypuff into oblivion. Uh, alright, and... Nope. And by comet punching, I'm probably not gonna get three heads out of this, but it's very... Oh my! What the?! Impossible! <laughs> Uh, with the Jinx there, I should be able to do double damage to this Jinx over here. You know, just saying I could. It's got the water energy. Deplop that on there. I'll get things set up there when the time is right, basically. But for now, I'll just kind of Comet Punch in the meantime, because we are resistant to Psychic Critters, which will work in my favor. And that's another decent series of coin flips. We are... I, a little bit, a little ahead of average here for once. I'm not, not gonna complain. I'm not gonna jinx. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the EV, double colorless, and then I'm gonna go with Vaporeon because it can go bite and also double damage that Delio possibly. Uh, I think I should probably Pokemon Trader Aerodactyl back in there to get something else so I can redraw it later. Uh, I'll get Scyther. Yeah, Scyther has got the versatility, and then I'll go Professor Oak. Don't really think the, the Jolteon will be quite as easy to use as the others, because I think that was the four energy critter, if I remember correctly. Actually, I should check that just to be sure here. Yeah, four energy for the stun needle, as I thought. So, just thought I would 
plop that in in case I need some lightning, but for the most part, whoops, why did I do that? <laughs> but for the most part, I'm just gonna choose whatever I need to use as the best critter for the job. Anyway, the Comet Punch again, just need two heads. Average is probably gonna go way back down. Probably, eh, okay, we're, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's back to 40 average, so. Because remember, we got a two, a three, and now a one. And uh, nothing. So what is he setting up here? Well, actually, I, I'm in pretty good shape with just the general Kangaskhan here, so... Alright, uh, let's just leave the Kangaskhan out, I suppose. Uh, coin flip our way to victory, because <laughs> at the moment he doesn't have the attack power to get really that far through Kangaskhan, so yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't normally attack with Kangaskhan either, as you know, because it requires so much energy, but just kind of in a nice situation here, so I might as well. Wait a second. Maybe I should... Just, yeah, I'll probably focus on the Scyther, because Scythers can do a lot of damage, even if you don't have the Grass Energy, because you can power it up with double colorless and stuff and stuff, so that's pretty nice to have as well. Uh, yeah, so, I'm not using too many of the same Pokémon that I used before in this, like, you, you see Kangaskhan and, uh, and uh, the Scyther as being repeats, but that it just fits the theme, but other than that, I'm going for the whole shebang of all sorts of critters from all different kinds that you haven't seen me play before. You probably came across Rommel using the, this particular Eevee Evolution line, but I never used them. <laughs> Nice coin flips there, Kangaskhan. And uh, about the hunter. Probably gonna go for the sleepies. As if he can keep me sleeping, I will be taking 20 in, I, I suppose. And that didn't work. That's that's why the hunter's not one of the best. And probably should plop on them. Get another Kangaskhan. Three heads will give us another prize card. That would be pretty nice to see, but I wouldn't count on it. <gasps> Today, it's my day. I can't believe it. <laughs> and done with done with the attacking. So I suppose, I guess I'll do that. In just in case, because remember, Jinx still can do the double damage to Leo. So I figured that would be pretty nice to have. The other King is gone. I don't know if I'll be able to power up in time. I was hoping for a double colorless by now, but. Well, definitely not going to power it up now, because I won, but I'm not complaining about that either. <laughs> and... Jessica is up next with the fighting, so... That means it's probably a good idea to use Aerodactyl for fighting resistance, or... The Jinx for the power of... Well, actually, uh, Scyther will work too, for the power of uh, double damage. Yeah, I'm going to go Scyther because of the resistance, and... Four prize cards. So I got the grass energy there right off the bat, which is pretty nice to see because I could potentially get a couple double colorless on the next turn and then just wipe out whatever she's got. And uh, Dodrio, that could be. Eh, I don't think that'll be that big of a deal. I mean, I was thinking of the retreat aid. You know, to make it so that she can retreat stuff easy, but at the s Oh, there it is! Nice! This really is my day! <laughs> uh, but yeah, the retreat aid is... It could, it could prevent, basically prevent... Uh, me from knocking out critters as easily as I would normally be able to, but... So much for that focus energy. <laughs> Voila! Now, the duo... Not going to Dodrio, it doesn't really... Aim. Well, I might go to Dodrio, I don't know. It all depends. Uh, as long as she's using Defender, maybe I should actually use Focus Energy, because if you think about it, if I use two slashes in a row, that'll be 40, as opposed to Focus Energy and then the slash for 60, you know? You know? So yeah, I'm gonna Swords Dance and call that a turn. And I think that ended up being wise, a mysterious fossil for possible future Aerodactyl, which would be pretty nice too. Uh, I don't think... Oh, I can! I was, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while since I used fossil stuff. I was thinking, can I actually attach energy to the fossil, or do I have to evolve it? I can attach energy to it! 
and slash. That will take out the duo. And oh, and I guess if now that I think about it, Eevee, I've used that version of Eevee before. Ooh, stretch kick. Uh, so that's another card that I repeat use, but you know, I'm just trying to show you all sorts of different strategies with new cards as I go and whatever else can fit in the strategy if I have to put it in there. I have to put it in there, you know. There we go. Now, with the power of Aerodactyl, I decided to do that now because I'm not going to use Jolteon versus fighting Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to save it for a Pokemon trader, actually. I'm going to wipe out that on Hitmonlee, and, and I suppose Slash. Yeah, like, yeah, it'll, it'll do some damage to Scyther, but I can't really prevent that. I could potentially... Wait a second. Didn't you use that last turn? What's the corkscrew? Yeah, it's 30. Ah, uh, wait, or did it, or did it fail last turn? I did I not pay attention? What? Ah, uh, I'm not, huh? <laughs> I'm not sure. Actually, I might have to look back at that one. <laughs> anyway, I, I would have thought that if it worked, you know, it would have been a. Uh, given to use it against Scyther, so maybe I just wasn't paying attention and it wasn't a good coin flip? Maybe? It might be? Anyway, I should probably kind of seal a deal here by... Uh, wait, actually, Jinx first, and then uh, put that on there. And then what I should do is... Uh, oh, uh, actually, I was thinking I should... I was going to say seal a deal with Focus Energy, but I just immediately went for the Slash! Ah! But now she's going to do a switch. Oh, or not. Never mind, I guess the deal was still sealed. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the... Oh uh, yeah, all out of energy. I was gonna say the, uh... Uh, focus energy would do 60 to the next Pokémon, regardless of what it is, so she can't do any sneaky switches, and why didn't she use Dodrio at any time, anyway? <laughs> I don't know, that was... That was a weird game. Kristen, let's go. And... Shuffalo, so now we're looking for Flareon. If we can do that, but <laughs> uh, it all depends. I got Pokemon Trader, but I don't have an Eevee. But, you know, it could change in the future. I don't know which one I'll get first, so I don't want to automatically just trade for something and take a guess. Uh, but first, I should probably probably fetch because it'll allow me to get a bunch of cards that'll potentially be the Eevee or said Flareon. Or oh, there's Flareon! <laughs> Alright, so... Well, actually, now I can't trade right now, but... But still, but still, once I get another Pokémon, I can do so. And by the way, Mysterious Fossil doesn't count as a Pokémon in your hand, so you can't trade that. Uh, just put that on Kangaskhan and fetch for now. There we go. So yeah, it, hmm, interesting. Um, I, I was thinking, maybe what I could do then, since I got Aerodactyl, is if I get Flareon out... Then what I can do is put Aerodactyl in play and lock her in from evolving critters, so to speak. That could be a potential thing in my bobber, maybe, possibly. But as of right now, I probably oof, I probably should focus on the uh, Eevee into Flareon more than anything. So we're gonna do that. Remove that on Tangela and fetch. So, yeah, it's, it's still, you know, it's early game. You can't set up everything right away. That's why I'm kind of getting other things that might be handy out right now, like said Scyther. I didn't want to trade the Scyther because of its versatility, and I figured I would get more energy cards in the future anyway, so... Oh, I should have... <clears throat> I should have energy removal that again. Oh, there's my, <laughs> there's my Aerodactyl again. But yeah, I'm making some rather dumb mistakes here. But yeah, this is why I did not want to let it attack, because it could bind me... For all of eternity, but uh, now I was thinking with the poison power, uh, that could be more of an issue. Mm, but I'll keep focusing on the Flareon for now and fetch. But she'll probably get the paralysis off, and <laughs> and she also won't accept my challenge. Oh wait, with that one, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I see. No energy. Good. Good. <laughs> Put down a Flareon and fetch. 
So now we've got the weakness in play, we are fetching stuff, we've got the fossil, we've got the aerodactyl, and thus I would say the game is kind of locked up. <laughs> Probably. So, uh, I suppose I could put the other one. I was thinking if I should put the other fossil in play just to have like a a fake wall of sorts, because if when the, if the opponent knocks out a mysterious fossil, they don't get to take a prize card. See, if it, it doesn't count as a knocked out Pokémon, see that? Yeah. <laughs> but discard it anyway if it's knocked out. It only has 10 HP, so any, any attack will knock it out that does damage. No weakness or resistance. Um, anyway... Probably put that on there. Um, Flareon, by the way, is all ready to go. It's just a matter of... Well, I, I guess either I knock out the Tangela, or I switch, or she knocks out my Kangaskhan. She'll probably knock out Kangaskhan now, because of the incoming poison, most likely. Uh, oh, Gust of Wind? For what? Aerodactyl? I, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I have a free retreat cost, though, so it's not that smart, in all honesty, <laughs> because I'm just gonna go, yeah, oh, it, oh it's too, I thought Aerodactyl was, oh, well, my bad on that, <laughs> well, I should do that in, anyway, then, and so I'm gonna swap over to Flareon, then, as long as, yeah, I just want to basically lock her from being able to evolve anything, so I can do the sweeps. No rage right now, because Flareon doesn't have any damage counter, so it's all not gonna really getting, get any benefit from that. So, anyway. Uh, energy card, yes, of course. Oh, oh not to your act. I thought you were gonna try nicking away. Because you're just gonna end up powering up my <laughs> rage if you do it to 30, you know? <laughs> anyway, I should probably go pop that on Scyther and bite. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wasn't gonna misclick that time. No, 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 no. And thus, with this double damage dealio going on here, we can pretty much, as I said, sweep the whole game. Uh, yeah, he just didn't even have the energy to. Hmm, I could have even raged there and knock out the Bulbasaur, but. Yep, and Porygon, she's probably gonna change the resistance to fire if she can. Uh, uh, Wait, wait, wait a second. Is this conversion one or... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Hmm. Well, I win. Because <laughs> it was too energy for that Porygon to stall. Well, that's another victory for Type Advantages. And GR number one. Let's go. I've missed you. It's been a while since we played a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that long, but still. Um, I'll leave again, surely, get some basic Pokemon. And... Uh, looks like it's gonna be Scyther. Because I'd rather have Eevee on the side to get set up, and because, you know, Scyther has a lot of HP, I could get double colorless, etc, etc. Ooh, Voltorb, well, that Speedball Voltorb could be an issue. <laughs> Because, you know, the one damage, I mean, one for 20 is, is, is a pretty powerful little move. But I can always switch out Scyther for free, so... Uh, I'm definitely going to do that for the sake of just messing with him. <laughs> Set that up and Swords Dance, because maybe, just maybe, I can get double colorless and wipe out the Voltorb. Oh, wait, what? Ooh! You're not... Or, or maybe you don't have Lightning Energy. If so, good, good, and so it stands. They can get my double colorless, but I, I wouldn't really expect they get double colorless on command. It's just a thing of that's kind of a nice possibility more than anything. Um, now, what has been piling up there? I don't. Uh, it could cause an issue to Scyther, but I. It's not going to knock out Scyther in one shot. It's just going to be a. Uh, to dealio, but it could technically be one shot if I can't retreat it. Well, there's double colorless now. But I mean, because, you know, the ice beam could cause paralysis. And just filling up those magnemites for the ultra powerful magnetic attack of doom. Uh, that would be a aerodactyl type of situation, by the way. Uh, but I don't really have that right now. I, yeah, I have that, but I mean, I don't have the mysterious fossils, what I mean. 
because uh, you see it's weak to grasp and also resistance to fighting, but the thing about it is that I'm able to uh, dish out damage as a fighting Pokémon, even though it uses colorless. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know the deal, yo, so <laughs> that would be handy against the, the lightning stuff. It's not, it's not resistant to lightning like it is for the other stuff, I, I mean, yeah, anyway. Um... Hmm. I don't know if what I should. I mean, I should probably go for an Eevee, but I mean, I don't know what I should really set up for the future, per se. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna do the slasher. And since. Okay. So that's gonna actually set her back, because that's she's only gonna be able to growl instead of being able to ice beam. And. So I'll do that. In anticipation of some Eeveelution. Um, you'll notice that I have two copies of each of the Eeveelutions, despite having four Eevees. Why I did that? Besides just having consistency and making sure that at least one of them is in the deck, or at least to the best of my ability, making sure that at least one is in the deck for me to trade for, is so that I can trade for. You, like, trade one for another evolution if possible, or if necessary, so I figured that would be a nice little little way to ensure that I keep getting the right type of critter for the situation. Although, you know, decks can brick in it all like that, so. Oh, there's the magnetism for all the magnemites on the field! This is all 40. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, I know I'm not put out this EV, but see the magnetism here. Check that out. 10 damage plus 10 more damage for each Magnemite, Magneton, and a Dark Magneton. So, Magnemite, Magnemite, and Magnemite, it's at absolute maximum power right now. <laughs> uh, so, put that on the Eevee and hopefully get a heads. Yes. So, I was gonna say, uh, he's just gonna keep sweeping me with magnetism then if I don't do that. That is a pretty handy uh, way to do damage like that, is use the Magnemite's Magnetism. I thought about making a deck like that, actually, uh, since I haven't really used much of the Magnemite Magneton line. Uh, since I'll be knocking out that one. Oh! Oh, really? That's right! I see. I see. Uh, and that makes me wonder if I should go like this. Energy search for water, I guess. Put that on there, and then just let Eevee get knocked out so I can go in swinging with the next critter. Uh, assuming Eevee is going to get knocked out, otherwise I'll just get free attacks with Eevee. And... prize card! Got Professor Oak, always nice. Should've just put extra bills in there, so <laughs> I just feel like I don't want... I shouldn't abuse the AI, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, you know, having challenges like a second copy of Bill, basically. Um, yeah, I think... Should I? I think I should. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, I just put it in, put it in play. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was gonna say I should pop the... Before I dump out the hand, but no, 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 I can't it's right now. I just, yeah. And, um... Pokemon Trader, so, okay. Now I can. <laughs> And Professor O. I have nothing to trade, so I'm just gonna get a new hand and bolster my chances. Maybe I could even, I was gonna say, maybe I could even get some other evolution, but no, that's right, I put Aerodactyl in play, so it's kinda out of, out of the question, at least until I allow Aerodactyl to get knocked out or something like that, but I don't think it's gonna need to come to that, so I'll just kinda leave things as is. <laughs> Uh, Jolteon, no evolutions in play. Yeah, I, that's why I said I gotta remember that that Aerodactyl's Pokemon power is a thing, and not to play it just willy nilly. I've gotta have something out and raring to go. And there's the KO, and there's the Flareon. And I guess on the Aerodactyl challenge, not gonna accept it. See, it's like Bill, as I said. Uh, free Wall, Jinx, Kangaskhan... Yeah, that's right. I <laughs> uh, probably should do this, because he's lacking. And then we bite. Because the Rage is not going to do all that much. 
So we'll see what he does. Might be, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, might be tempted to do some sort of switch. But. You know, Jolteon, it really would be nice if I could have put that in play, because watch, evolution cards, prehistoric powers, yep, yep, yep. But. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'll just get other stuff going here, and but. <sighs> I gotta really watch the prehistoric power. <laughs> Just, I'm basically trying to tell myself that more than anything. Whoops. And bye. I mean, I, I, I probably got this game in the bag in general, but that but doing Aerodactyl that early was probably a mistake because I needed both uh, a ground and lightning to counter his deck type, but... Mm, eh. Oh no! My fossil! Which did absolutely nothing since I already got Aerodactyl in play. And wait, I was just thinking, should I actually switch this Kangaskhan and Comet Punch? Because I could get two heads off this, since it's my lucky day in theory. <laughs> there we go, and prize card for me. So he's got a lot of Magnemite like that, which is not really good for his HP reserves, which means that I could probably potentially just sweep the remainders of stuff. Actually. Except for that Kangaskhan, but... Actually, why, did, why didn't he put out the Kangaskhan? Because it's got a lot of energy requirements or something? I don't know. Three heads for the win! Three heads for the win! I don't expect three heads, no. <laughs> Still doing decently on the coin flip stuff. So I'm not complaining. Just, we're okay. As long as he doesn't switch. He's gonna switch. Yeah, I figure. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm gonna do this. Go with the arrow tackle. <laughs> and put this back on Kangaskhan. See, with Wing Attack, now I'm doing double damage. Voila! And now he's gotta switch Kangaskhan somehow, which he couldn't, thus I win the game. I think that was a wise course of action there. Woohoo! And one more to go, which is Aaron. So, which kind of deck is he going to use? Hopefully it's not the bench one again. <laughs> Seems like every time we encounter him here, it's the bench of hell. Um, ooh. That's an iffy start. Because Jinx doesn't have that much HP. Come on, get heads. Thank you. <laughs> and I need another basic. Well, Professor Oak will do, but first, challenge. Because I don't want to just dump out things willy-nilly if I can help it. Uh, a pincer. See the slicing throw. Uh, well, it won't be able to knock out Jinx. So I'll go for the paralysis and not play Professor Oak just yet. Because he's lacking bench Pokemon just, <laughs> just as I am here, so... We shall see. Oh, here's his bill. Or challenge. Pincer. Slicing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay. I've been getting the coin flips. And water. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to dump out our hand just to be safe. Uh, regardless of losing all these nice cards, but... <laughs> we could always get more. Like maybe another Flareon or something, I don't know. Wait, what?! Oh, no! No, 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 no! I don't have... I mean, I have Pokémon Trader, but that's not gonna help very much. Um... I could get used to get a basic, uh, but I'm, then I'm trading the Jolt. I don't think I have much of a choice. Maybe I should go for Kangaskhan in that room. I'm thinking that Kangaskhan is my best bet. <laughs> just, just, just for now. And then cold breath. Maybe sleep will happen. Nope. But primarily I'm going for the damage, because he does, still doesn't have any basic Pokémon, so I might be able to outright win. Ah! That's what he was so happy about. <laughs> uh, attach the pincers, so he might be able to get 10 more out of this, and he does. But I've got a con in the works on the side. Ooh, there's Flareon. Energy removal, that. And that to Kangaskhan, of course. So, I guess Cold Breath. I suppose, even though it's probably, probably going to be able to wake up. I only have a 25% chance of this sleepy actually working. Eh. <laughs> but then it's Kangaskhan time. Unfortunately, though, he already got the bench Pokémon of his own, so 
Although, I, you know, I come to think of it, I could you put a fossil out? Because Kangaskhan can't attack anywhere, other than the fetch. Yeah, I think I'll do that and save the other fossil in case I need it for Aerodactyl or something like that. And I'll just see how things go. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't matter what the coin flip is, because Mysterious Fossil's only got the 10. And yeah, I can't gone this time. Jolteon. And fetch. Please give me a basic. Please give me a basic. Oh, Double Cuglas is okay. Although I already attached one to uh, Kangaskhan. But I would—I didn't know it was coming, so... Uh, oh, man. He's gonna get the basics. <laughs> Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Slicing. Luckily, Kangaskhan's got a lot of HP, so... That's uh, kind, of, kind of the benefit of being able to fetch with the critter. Okay, Eevee. That I can use. But right now... I'm thinking of Comet Punching, because there really isn't that much that can damage Kangaskhan in comparison. So it's kind of a waste of Double Cuddless in a way. But at the same time, if I can knock out the Pinsir that's doing 20 damage seemingly consistently with one energy, should probably take that out. My energy removal is very nice. Uh, it looks like he's putting out the Jigglypuff as a stall. Or maybe not. May or maybe the friendship song? Perhaps? No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he's going for the wiggly top of doom! Uh, wait a second. He's going grass and water. Uh, I'm probably better off with the Jolteon then. Probably. Uh, for now, I'll think about it. <laughs> Because if I have uh, Flareon, then they're affected by the water. But with Jolteon, Jolteon isn't weak to either, so that's why I figured Jolteon might be the better choice of the two. Oh boy, you went Poliwhirl. You never go full Poliwhirl. <laughs> and friendship happens to bring another Bell Sprout, I guess. So yeah, maybe going for the Wiggly. Possibly. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna. I really absolutely have to Professor Oak. <laughs> just saying! Because I was at a very weak start here. Alright. Um, hmm. Guess I could use that as another wall. <laughs> then. Uh, do I want to go to Vaporeon or, or go with the Scyther? Probably the Scyther, because I already got the Jolteon. And... Focus on that. And Comet Punch. Because <laughs> he's probably going to do Water next. Possibly, maybe, just based on the Poliwhirl. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go Jolteon. Probably. Yep, there's the Poliwhirl. Bell Sprouts, then Amnesia, probably. Yep, Comet Punch. I was gonna say to prevent me from attacking, but what I might just do is switch over to Jolteon. There's another one. <laughs> uh, I could actually put two into play if I wanted to, though. Maybe that's what I wish to do. And I'm gonna actually retreat. So I'm actually gonna keep the double cuddler. So it ended up it ended up being out good after all. <laughs> And I'm gonna try for two heads, because that will knock out the Poliwhirl, double damage and all that stuff. And unfortunately, Oh no! Oh, it's weak to grass! Ah, oh, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I still need two heads in general the next turn then. Maybe. I'll probably get both heads though, so I might not actually- Oh man, you really did! <laughs> As I say, it might not make it for the next turn. Um, who should I put out then? Probably... Kangaskhan again. I don't know. Mm. Actually, I could put out a fossil stall. That might be a wise, I wise idea. Mm. <laughs> I just don't want to get locked into anything, you know? And we both had two prize cards, too, so maybe I should let the fossils go. <laughs> Even though those are all my fossils. And I won't be able to get Aerodactyl, but nothing is 
seemingly weak to Aerodactyl right now anyway, so... Hmm... I should probably put that in play, in general. And... Done. <laughs> you can knock out the fossil, have a good day, and I will try and get something to do 40 damage to. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, Eevee could do 30 on a lucky coin flip, but then it could just be... Retail oh, shoot! I... Well, I was gonna say... <laughs> well, maybe I can use the fetches. I was gonna say, I'll put out, the other, put out the other fossil now, but I can still put out the other fossil later, even if he knocks out Kangaskhan. Uh, he actually won't be able to outright knock out Kangaskhan, even with both heads being in the double slap, so... Okay, so that's still decent shape then. And, well, maybe I'll actually be able to utilize the Aerodactyl later then. Maybe, but for now. I'm gonna energy surge for a water. Place the water on the Kangaskhan and continue my Comet Punch sweep, if at all possible. Because you see, before he could have just amnesia'd me infinitely and I wouldn't have been able to attack with Kangaskhan at all. But now that I switched into it and was able to just use it like that, yeah. Since he was using double slap instead of amnesia. Honestly, you probably would have been better off using Amnesia if you seen Kangaskhan out, but... Yeah. Um, Alright, so now we gotta finish off that Weeping Bell as quickly as possible. So maybe we can get Scyther going? Possibly? Maybe? And two heads? Because then that's 40 plus 30? Maybe? Might be? I just need one more energy card. Although, now that I think about it, maybe I should have did it on Vaporeon? I guess it already had. It could have went into the bite. Hmm. Hmm. Well, he's not switching anyway, so maybe I can still... Um... Get that 30 off somehow, anyway. And... Um, actually, I will, put, I will put out the Scyther, because I can free switch. Yeah, I just, just need one more energy. Hmm. <laughs> Retreat for Mysterious Fossil. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have went with the uh, energy on Eevee and then went into Vaporeon. Oh, zip, that, that, zip, that, that, oh no! <laughs> the Wiggly, it is a powerful beast, as you've seen, and he's feeling gonna fill up the bench with stuff too. Uh, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Potion, <laughs> and Acid. I don't, doesn't much matter if I'm gonna be able to retreat, because it's gonna be a knockout anyway, but yeah. And, yep, yep, yep. What is, uh, Victory Bell's retreat cost anyway? That's uh, two. Hmm. Hmm. That would be a tough can't knock out Scyther without a couple plus power, unless he puts another on the bench plus a plus power. Uh. This is... I, I didn't think Aaron would be the hardest duel of this whole set. <laughs> um... Hmm... I definitely want a Professor Oak, but what do I want to put in play? <laughs> I'm thinking that Jolteon, for one thing, and Eevee. I don't think I want to do the Vaporeon. I think I'll put... Nah, I think I'll put the Scyther, yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to put anything else on the bench, so I'm gonna just Professor Oak. And get that energy card that I so desire. <laughs> uh, double colorless. Uh, Flareon? Flareon would be nice. Because <laughs> um, I, I just want to basically finish off what he's got there, if at all possible, and I did not get a energy removal too, that's kind of unfortunate. Aerodactyl, because without my fossils, is kind of moot, so I can trade it, similar to the uh, evolution thing that I talked about before. Hmm. I think I'll do that, and then slash, because I could potentially switch into something that can dish out 50 to it. Just, you know, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, an acid? 
no retreats. I mean, well, I mean, it's fine for me that I... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing about it is that it, it didn't prevent me from retreating. Right, that's... And, by the way, I should not use Professor Oak now, as you've seen with all how few cards are left in the deck. And... Yeah, I'm gonna put that on there. And I think, to try and seal the deal here, I'm gonna do Swords Dance. Oh, that- oh, shoot, that's right! Oh, mm -mm, I, I flubbed it. Ah! <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm gonna well, it's probably just gonna retreat into Wigglytuff then if I attack. <laughs> you know, AI, how it works. So maybe I should not attack, you know what I mean? Although you could do 50 damage to... with double slap. Possibly, depending on the coin flips. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put the other Scyther in play and... No, I will attack. Wait, 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 what? That... Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will attack because he, he probably will not be able to knock out Scyther with something. Probably not. I mean, he might get double colorless and then switch into Wigglytuff and then wipe me out, but uh, we'll see. And Oh, he's not even switching. Why didn't he switch? I was worried over nothing. <laughs> So then, that means I win! Woo! That was unexpectedly difficult. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as I mentioned before when I first battled Aaron, uh, he does have stronger decks because you battle him so late in the game for his regular duel. So I guess he was probably the strongest of all the ones we got here, but I still didn't think he was going to cause me that much ire. <laughs> Anyway, the streak continues, thanks to the powers of doubling damage, for the most part, I guess. <laughs> it, all, it all depended on the situation. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.